were next to a waterfall. Skoa Foss, which is a part of Skoa River, has a width of 25 meters and a cascade drops 60 meters. The waterfall generates a lot of sprays which often create a rainbow or even a double rainbow on okay. sunny days. Okay. Everything's wet. We need to get out of here. Skoa Foss is about 150 kilometers away from Reykjavik. So you can drive there in about two hours. But don't just drive there non-stop. Make sure to see other beautiful sights along the way. There's 429 stairs here that we climbed up and down. We're halfway up the stairs to the top of the hill to see the waterfall. from Skoa Foss to Reykjavik, you'll find this beautiful waterfall. But you can actually go underneath this waterfall and you'll get really wet. One of the things you have to see around Reykjavik is the Golden Circle. And there's lots of places to fly a drone, so enjoy! Reykjavik and it's early in the morning here. We couldn't find any food anywhere. And then we found this restaurant. Le Coq. We found food in Iceland at like 8 a.m. Iceland at the time. Which is apparently impossible. But we did it. Some might consider it early, because it's only 9 a.m. Reykjavik is a very sleepy town, but even though it's the middle of summer, it's not that warm. We're waiting for our tour boat. We're gonna go see some puffins and some really cool things on the water.
people that live here really like Prince Polo. And it's actually from Poland. They make it in Poland, and Iceland likes it so much, it's everywhere, even in Costco. In regular Costco's, there isn't Prince Polo, but we found these in Costco. Costco in Reykjavik and the reason that we're filming this is because we didn't expect there to be a Costco here and when we saw it we got overly excited probably too excited <laughs> but let's see how much they have hot dogs for yeah Costco raises the prices of burgers or, or hot dogs now we're gonna drive through the golden circle We are near these kind of secret geyser hot springs and since over there it says that we can't go in, we're gonna fly drone over it. Iceland, the warm water comes from the ground and is supplied by geothermal power plants. It is ideal for bathing, but not drinking. Due to this, Icelanders have hot and cold water from two different sources. The drinking water runs straight from their natural springs and is, as they say, the best in the world. We're at the geysers in Iceland and we're watching water go up because it usually goes down. The water in there created like a bubble in the middle and then I, I, was, I was thinking, what is that? And it blew up and I, and I jumped. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. It scares me every time. <laughs> Here at the geysers, it smells like rotten eggs. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the geysers or somebody's lunch. My dad said that's what hell smells like. place that is like a giant wall and it looks like a trunk air from Minecraft. We're at the Minecraft trunk air. I don't know what it's called, 
but it'll probably be on the screen. Here at these like wall type places, a lot of people were executed back when execution was like a regular punishment here in Iceland. And over there where that big rock is sticking up, on the left side between that rock and the middle rock, uh, 15 uh, men were hanged as a punishment. We spent four beautiful yet busy days in Iceland. It's really beautiful there and it's really worth going, but next time we're gonna go for a bit longer. But remember, it's called Iceland for a reason. It's cold even in the summer.